Hi everyone! In today's video, I'll show you how to make ice cream without any added sugar. The ice cream is based on bananas, so technically it should probably be called an ice cream. So let's prepare the bananas first. You can either freeze peeled whole bananas and then cut them into slices right before blending, or you can cut the bananas first and then freeze them. A Vitamix blender can easily handle whole frozen bananas as well, but it's easier on the blender when you cut the bananas ahead of time. The first flavor we'll make is vanilla. Add the frozen bananas to the blender together with vanilla paste and vanilla extract and blend on high until smooth. You can also scrape the seeds from a vanilla bean and use the seeds instead of the vanilla paste or the extract. When making ice cream in a blender, it's important to know the minimum amount of ingredients the blender container requires. Here I'm using a 64 ounce container, so I'll need about 4 bananas. If I used fewer bananas, the blade wouldn't have enough ingredients to grab onto and the blender would be struggling. You can serve the ice cream straight out of the blender, it will have a soft serve consistency, or freeze it for a couple of hours depending on the size of the container, so it becomes scoopable. The next flavor we'll make is chocolate. Starting with the frozen bananas already in the blender, add some cocoa powder and blend. You can also add almond butter for chocolate almond ice cream. And of course, you can swap the almond butter for any nut butter you like. Blend on high until smooth. Now, the nut butter will make the ice cream runnier, even if you blend the bananas for just a few seconds. So when making this chocolate ice cream variation, I recommend transferring the content of the blender into a container and freezing it for 1-2 to two hours. This should be enough time for the ice cream to become scoopable. The next flavor is berry ice cream and again, I'll show you a few variations here. Let's start with the classic, strawberry. Add frozen strawberries and vanilla extract to the frozen bananas and blend on high until smooth. Frozen strawberries can be a little bit difficult to blend because they are quite icy and hard, so ideally you would use a tamper. If your blender does not come with a tamper, Get a Vitamix. <laughs> Just kidding. If your blender does not come with a tamper, wait a little bit for the fruit to thaw. You might be tempted to add liquid, but don't. Adding liquid, even just a little bit, will turn the ice cream into a smoothie. Another benefit of a tamper is that blending frozen ingredients tends to create air pockets near the blade. So oftentimes I just hold the tamper near the blade, preventing air pockets from forming. Another option is to make very berry ice cream with mixed berries instead of just strawberries. Or yet another variation is cherry ice cream. As you can see, the possibilities are endless. Finally, let's make coffee ice cream. To the frozen bananas, add espresso powder and blend. 
You could also add cocoa powder to the espresso and make mocha ice cream. You might have noticed that I switched my Vitamix container halfway through the video. I started with a 64 ounce container and now I am using a 48 ounce container for which I only need 2 bananas to make an ice cream. I have 20 different flavors of nice cream listed on my blog, so if you're interested in more nice cream flavors, I'll leave a link to all those recipes in the description box below. And that's it! 7 nice creams in a Vitamix blender. I've got the three most popular nice cream flavors here, vanilla, strawberry and chocolate. And I purposely didn't include all the flavors because nice cream melts pretty quickly. So how do you like it? I can't believe that this is legal. It tastes so good. The what is, what is this? That's the vanilla. There's more than just vanilla going on here. It's the vanilla. It's delicious. I OK, so we've also got chocolate. I'll talk about that as well. But the texture and the flavor of the vanilla is unlike any ice cream I've ever had before. It is the best. Yeah. No, hands down. I'm being serious right now. You need to try this. The vanilla is the best. The strawberry, strawberry, watermelon. Strawberry. Just strawberry. <laughs> it's just strawberry. It's like a tropical tornado booster juice flavor. Tangy, sweet, lots of tang up front, then sweet. Dissipates quickly though. Lots of tangy aftertaste. The chocolate is, it's surprisingly so familiar, I would not be able to distinguish it from anything else. Like it's, it's a chocolate ice cream flavor That's to me. So good. the vanilla though, you have to try it. It's amazing. Whatever's going on here is amazing. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.